Netflix to hike its prices. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee and let's have a look because Netflix are hiking their prices. Just as Australia enters its first recession in 30 years, you know, frankly, what I would consider a luxury cost is being hiked in price. Now, Netflix shares are trading at 470 US dollars. You can see, you know, overnight trading, they spiked up and up right back down. But, I mean, look at their dividend yield. It's nothing. They haven't actually made a profit yet. They're not a profitable company. It's just crazy in this world we live in where non-profitable companies are advertised so high. I guess they have developed a moat. They've got a market and audience size. They've got people that like the platform. And there's opportunities for extra revenue. Wait till advertise. Has advertising appeared on Netflix yet, guys? Have we seen that on Netflix when you're watching your shows? I mean, because that's the inevitable, the inevitable goal. There'll be advertising revenue on Netflix. Just wait and see. I, you know, I subscribed to it, you know, ages ago, and it just was boring to be honest. Lots of the stuff wasn't that exciting, <laughs> and and so there's, I mean, they're shifting now to make more of their own unique original content. And there's some controversy of certain shows and things that they're showing on. So a whole significant number of people have recently just unsubscribed. I consider it a luxury item that is not a necessity at all. At all. So let's have a look at this article. So Netflix will increase its prices today with Aussie viewers set to pay up to an extra $24 a year. Now, it may not sound like a lot, but if you're... You've recently been made unemployed. If you're on JobKeeper, on JobSeeker, if you need to find every penny to keep you in a mortgage, this is money that you don't need to waste. $10 a month, that adds up. You know, that's $150 a year. That could be a chunk of a mortgage repayment. That could be a decent amount of food or coffee. You need to think like that. You need to become a cheap, grumpy old bastard. <laughs> you know, level... Uh, of like what is it from the pokemon level up or evolve into uh, boomer mode so the streaming giant has 11.9 million australian subscribers as of the beginning of 2020 i mean so that's huge market penetration for a population how many subscribers is that i mean i can't imagine people would want mul need multiple accounts it's a big chunk of the people living here in australia so with the Netflix basic plan set to increase from $9.99 to $10.99 a month. And its standard plan from $13.99 to $15.99. However, its most expensive plan, the premium plan, will not change from its $20 a month price. I didn't, I mean, it's been so long since I've been on there. I didn't realize they had all this tiered pricing. We know Australians have never made more choices when it have never had more choices when it comes to the entertainment and we're more committed than ever to deliver uh, to delivering an experience that exceeds their expectations a Netflix spokesperson said so are we are we starting to see here is this the beginning of inflation cuz Netflix are a US company and how are we looking at you know the Australian dollar is doing pretty well it's at 73 US cents so you you'd expect them to be you know, be happy right now with the money they're earning in Australia. Because, I mean, what presence does Netflix, Netflix even have in Australia? Actually, that's, uh, that's well on that. I can't imagine it's, it would have to be much. We know Australians. Um, oh, we've looked at. Members tell us how much they value the breadth and variety of the catalogue. And we're updating our prices so that we can continue to invest in more shows and films. What about... Will Netflix, as a digital service platform, will they be hit by all these requirements from the ACCC to produce Australian content? I know it's to do with news. What about Australian content? As always, there will be different plans so that people can pick a price that works for their budget. The price hikes will be uh, immediate for new users while they will roll out over the next billing cycle for current viewers. Netflix last hiked its prices in October last year, taking its premium plans from $17.99 to $20. So there we have it, everyone. Netflix 
increasing their prices to 20 bucks. I mean, do you use Netflix? What other alternatives are there? I think there's the, uh, the Australian Christian um, ACC TV. They have a free streaming service for Christian content. I quite like that for the children's cartoons, for, for the kids. And there's some shows there. But to be honest, we don't really watch that much television. We don't want, uh, most of the content or entertainment I consume is on YouTube. Uh, for the children, you know, they want their cartoons. We use that. We use ABC iView. Yeah. Got to take advantage of the opportunities there and save money where you can. Because you may just think, oh, it's $12 here. Oh, it's $20 here. It's $17 here. But all of these subscription fees, they add up over time. And if you're trying to save money, these are something to attack. These are something to attack. When... When I really started looking at our budget a couple of years ago, really just when I actually had time, when I had time to just sit down and have a look, I was shocked at how many of these little things just added up. We had a subscription for Photoshop for the Creative Suite we're using in our business. That was 70 bucks, 100 bucks a month. We needed it. And at one point we had two because we were just so busy. And one product, and I, I will show this here, one product that I've just recently bought, and that it's due to the donations and supports from viewers of the channel. Thank you very much. This is an investment in software to allow me to produce things. And one is, one is, and I will show this here, is Affinity. So a new Photoshop software that I purchased. And well, rather than a, a monthly subscription from Autodesk, it's like 80 bucks to buy the software forever. So it lets me, you know, create new thumbnails and use it for other other projects and other things I use. If if you're if you're in the design field, guys, if you're using paying a subscription to Photoshop, I would highly recommend looking at Affinity Photo. They've also got a publisher and an illustrator alternative. So that, you know, I should I wish I had found it a few years ago when we were doing all of our architectural work. Because that would have been a good saving. That would have been a monthly saving that you can go. Okay, so, I mean, here we have it. I, I'll, I'll put a call out to everyone in the comments. What are good alternatives, free, open source, cheaper alternatives, or outright purchases as a alternative to Netflix, to Photoshop, to software subscription that you use? That you could share in the comments so people might be able to look at to find ways to save money. Because frankly, we're all going to need to save money moving forward. As always, guys, thank you all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and want to support the content, the content I created, there are a few ways you can. You can join the channel on YouTube or Patreon. You can support us using our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or KuCoin. You can buy merch from Heiser Says, use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint, or support us via PayPal. Take care, everyone. Have a great day, and I will see you all in the next episode.